The Egyptian pyramids are one of the wonders of the world, fascinating humanity with their mystery for thousands of years. How many secrets are kept by the huge pyramids in the imperturbable face of the Sphinx? Yes, and the whole Egyptian history is full of mysteries, and sometimes the finds discovered by scientists in ancient Giza, next to the pyramids and throughout the former territory of ancient Egypt, raise questions rather than give answers to them. Going on a trip to Egypt or Turkey this year, do not forget to visit the places where archaeologists were excavated. Hi friend, you're on the Kurtop channel. Ancient Statue of a Guardian Demon Cambodian and Singaporean archaeologists working in the area of the ancient capital of the Khmer Empire, Angkor, in the present Cambodian province of Siem Reap have removed from under a 40-centimeter layer of earth a 2-meter statue of a giant guard that stood 800 years ago at the gates of the Angkor Hospital. The statue, according to preliminary estimates dating back to the 12th century, was the first large object found in Angkor in six years. In 2011, two large Buddha statues, dating from a later time, were discovered near the site of the Saturday find. The statue was found in a new excavation, laid on Friday at the northern gate of the city of Angkor Thom. Built during the reign of the Angkorian Emperor Jayavarman VII, who made the city his capital. The reign of Jayavarman VII is known to historians as the time of large scale social programs. In particular, it was by order of this monarch that 102 hospitals were built in the country, which at that time included the territory of present day Cambodia and significant parts of modern Laos and Thailand. The dominant religion at that time in Angkor was Hinduism, and therefore most of the stone sculptures found from that period depict Hindu deities. The found statue of the guardian demon has a height of 1.9 meters and a width of 58 centimeters, is distinguished by skillful stone carving and is of great historical value, even though it lacks parts of its legs and arms. Before moving the statue to the museum, archaeologists held a religious ceremony and asked the spirits for permission to move of the statue. Aerial photographs have confirmed that the jungle in the uncleared areas hides another, as yet completely unknown, city of the Angkor era. The Ruins of the Legendary Cathedral the first Council of Nicaea, held in the city of Nicaea in 325, became a milestone in the history of Christianity. Today, the ancient city of Nicaea is located in Turkey and is called Iznek, but the fate of the church, where the famous meeting of church patriarchs was held, remained unknown for a long time. And now the Turkish archaeologist Mustafa Şehin, who has devoted many years to the search, has nevertheless discovered the remains of the cathedral at the bottom of Lake Ascania. Aerial photographs from Bursa provincial authorities have shown that one of the most historically significant churches in Christian history appears to be underwater in Lake Ascania near Iznik. Mustafa Şehin believes that the church was built on the site where Saint Neophytos, one of the revered Christian saints, was killed in 303. Earlier in its place was the building of the Senate, where probably the First Council of Nicaea was held. The First Council of Nicaea became a significant milestone in the history of Christianity, so the hierarchs of the church who participated in it discussed the nature of Christ and his creation by God and also established the dating of the celebration of Easter. This was done at the insistence of Emperor Constantine I, who believed that the common date for Easter was useful for uniting the Christian world. In addition, the Nicene Creed was formulated by the Council of Nicaea, a prayer formulation still used in Catholic worship. There is an opinion that under the building of the church font, under the waters of Lake Escania, there are the remains of a Greek temple that once stood in its place, dedicated to Apollo, the Greek god, who in the era of early Christianity was often associated with Christ. The Rock Lay Stone Axe China is a distinctive country, the culture and traditions of which go back centuries. China knows how to surprise foreign tourists. This time, the attention of the whole world was riveted by the village of Gulu, located in the province of Guizhou. There is a cliff called Chandia, which lays stone axe. Axe are spherical stone formations up to 20-60 cm in diameter. The weight of such a spherolite is about 300 kg. The fruiting surface of the cliff 
cliff is not large. Its area is 5 by 25 meters. It takes an average of 30 years for each lag to mature. At first, stone formations barely show through the surface of the cliff, then gradually separate from the main rock and fall to the ground. Stone eggs are bluish in color. They are hard and smooth as a rock. On their surface, you can see lines resembling annual growth rings. The cliff's ability to lay stone eggs was discovered in 2009. Since then, the inhabitants of the village of Gulu have collected about 70 spherical stone formations. Locals believe that stone eggs have miraculous powers, bring good luck, and promote the conception of boys in young families. Therefore, they are in every village family. Nativity Scene In 2005, an Italian archaeologist discovered strange rock paintings in the Sahara. He was silent about them for 11 years, not knowing how to interpret, and only in 2016 announced that in the drawings there was a scene of the nativity with a stable and a baby in a manger known to all Christians. Here are just the age of the rock fresco, at least 5,000 years, that is, it was made three millennia before the birth of Christ. What then does the rock art represent? Mystery. The Mystery of the Partially Mummified Baby Hungarian archaeologists have summed up the amazing work and revealed a secret that haunted many scientists for several years. This work began in 2005, when specialists began to study the remains found in a medieval cemetery near a town called Nayar Lawrence in southern Hungary. More than 500 graves discovered there date from the 12th and 16th centuries. One of the burials contained the remains of a child. Moreover, they were partially mummified and acquired a green color, and one hand retained dehydrated flesh while most of the body had time to decompose to the bone. The remains were so small that they could easily be confused with the bones of a small rodent, such as a rat, experts say. After examining the tiny skeleton, biologists have concluded that it belongs to an infant who was either born dead or died shortly after birth. Judging by the bones, the length of his body was no more than 33 centimeters, and the child weighed about 700-900 grams. At the same time, some vertebrae, femurs, both forearms and bones of the hands were green, and the right hand retained the remains of tissues. The back skin was also mummified. In the meantime, most of the ribs and humerus have not undergone this process. Archaeologists know that the green-tinged mummified remains are not a mystery in themselves. We are talking about the influence of copper or its alloy, possibly bronze. Many ancient burials contain coins, jewelry or household items made from this metal. This natural oxidation process is reflected in the tissues of the body. They acquire a characteristic green color. At the same time, copper has antimicrobial properties and prevents decomposition. Chemical analysis of the bones confirmed the author's conjecture. Copper levels were almost 500 times higher than the usual concentration. This is the highest rate in the history of mummy studies. Based on the surviving ethnographic data, newborns who died before the baptismal ceremony were to be buried in accordance with a special ritual. The baby's body was wrapped in cloth and placed in a pot or small wooden box. At the same time, in many cases a coin was also placed in the grave. According to historians, it was needed either to pay a fee for sending a soul to heaven or as a tribute to St. John the Baptist, so that he baptized the baby already in the afterlife. It is curious that this is the first such find in Hungary. Moreover, this is one of the first, if not the first, cases of involuntary mummification by means of copper in history. Ancient Sarcophagus in Turkey in northwestern Turkey, while carrying out excavation work, municipal workers unexpectedly stumbled upon an ancient sarcophagus, which was immediately confiscated by the local gendarmerie. The find was made in the Seyyid Gezi region, in the northwestern province of Aski Sahir. In ancient times, a very rich city was located here. This is probably why sarcophaguses were found in this area earlier. The newly discovered coffin most likely also belonged to a man from a wealthy and influential family. This is indicated in particular by the material. The sarcophagus is made of marble. Researchers pay attention to its size, indicating that it could have belonged to a child. It is one and a half meters long and 33 centimeters wide. 
The age of the artifact has not yet been determined, although it is clear that it is ancient. Officers of the regional gendarmerie promptly arrived at the place of discovery. They took the sarcophagus with them, declaring it a valuable historical artifact. The relic was then handed over to the staff of Eskesahiri Museum for further analysis. By the way, this is already the second exciting archaeological discovery made in the Said Gezir area in recent years. Earlier, it was here that archaeologists discovered a palette for paints, which is about 5,000 years old. Its analysis is still ongoing, but already now scientists believe that this palette may be the oldest of its kind. Ancient Bronze Artifacts a collection of ancient bronze artifacts was discovered by Polish archaeologists on the outskirts of the town of Gorzew Lubusz Wojewodship. According to scientists, the items are associated with the Lusatian culture. Researchers dated the finds from 1100 to 700 BC. Some of the artifacts were of religious significance. Among the items found are five bronze vessels, six wheels, and six other parts from a miniature chariot or carriage. In addition, 24 buttons and fragments of the vessel in which they were found were found. The items were probably hidden in the hurry in the hope of retrieving them later. The objects are not associated with burial, Polish researchers emphasize. The artifacts were found at the edge of a field by a family while walking. Those who found the treasure contacted local specialists in the protection of monuments, who later carefully examined the place where the find was discovered. Sarcophagus of the Visigothic Era a magnificently carved sarcophagus was discovered this Thursday by a team of researchers from the University of Murcia in a Roman villa in southeastern Spain. According to La Opinion de Murcia, the impressively preserved sarcophagus is 2 meters long and decorated with carved concentric curls and stylized ivy leaves on a gabled roof. In style, the sarcophagus dates back to the Wisigoth period between the 6th and 7th centuries AD. Experts note that this sarcophagus is the only one of its kind ever found in the southeast of Spain. The site where the sarcophagus was discovered, Villa Los Villericas, is a residential and agricultural complex built on the left bank of the Mula River in the second half of the 1st century. This complex was actively used until about the first half of the 5th century and is considered the largest and best preserved of all Roman estates found in Mercia. What exactly was produced at the villa, scientists do not yet know, but it is known that Mercia was famous for minerals, wheat, olive oil, marble, sandstone, and coastal fishing. It is also known that the villa was quite seriously modernized and expanded in the 3rd century and presumably was used in different ways at different stages of development. Erect Penis of Tutankhamun the mummy of Tutankhamun was one of the most astounding discoveries of the Egyptian scientists, but most of all they were struck by the fact that the pharaoh, buried according to all Egyptian traditions, differed from other mummies in a small detail. He was placed in a tomb with a fully erect penis. Reinforced with resin, the organ was raised at a 90-degree angle. Scientists did not know why this was done, suggesting, however, that it has something to do with the religious activities of Tutankhamun, who rejected the new religion of sun worship instilled by his father. And during his short reign, he was in power from 10 to 19 years, tried to return the people to the old gods. Read the video with a thumbs up or down and don't forget the bell, so you will be the first to know about the release of the new video. Thanks for your views! Bye, everyone!